Hey, what's going on fellow Rangers? Welcome back to another episode of Power Rangers Legacy Wars. My name is Jonathan Snow, and today, guys, you can see here we have TJ Johnson. Uh, he is um, here. <laughs> if you actually go to your team roster, you actually can look at him right now or at uh, the coming soon. So right now, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at his movesets and look at his EP costs and give you guys my final thoughts, or at least somewhat my final thoughts on TJ. Um, right now, you can see he is a common defender. And he has two, two strikes, one breaker, and one uh, a disruptor or a shield attack. So the first one is primary. Uh, the, the first strike move is actual. I can't speak today, guys, apparently. <laughs> actual axe combo is one of his primary strike moves. It is a three cost. All right. This move is, is just like Preston. Uh, he hits you three times. Uh, but the only thing is, though, this attack does not cause any type of stagger, knockback, knockback or stun. Uh, like Preston, on his second attack, on his second hit of his three-hit combo, he actually staggers you. I wish TJ actually had this. Um, I feel like it would be a lot more useful. As of right now, this is pretty much one of his worst moves in his um, complete roster of his movesets. Um, I don't like it. 99% um, of the time, you will be canceling this move out. So, I really hope they do add a stagger on the second hit, just like they do with Preston. But, or even maybe even the third hit. So that way, it'll be a little bit more rewarding for risk and risk slash reward. Thank you, Joel, for your donation. <laughs> um, so, I feel like they should definitely add some type of stagger, either after the second hit or the third hit. Uh, then we have Stellar Smash. This is just like MMPR Zack Assist, where he jumps up in the air and um, comes down. So it is a four cost, unlike uh, MMPR Zack, his is a six cost, and this is a strike four cost. It causes stagger, so, you know what I mean, we have to see exactly how quick it is when we actually do some playtesting with him. But uh, for that being a four and is a stagger, that's not too bad, so I definitely agree to that. Because it's a very close range attack, um, what we saw in the trailer. So you have to be very, very, very close to them to actually, this move to actually even work. So, with that being said, I think I'm fine with that. Uh, then we have his specials, which is Breaker Starstruck. Um, this is the move, like Danny Degato's um, primary strike, where he hits you multiple times. Again, it's a four cost. I like it. Uh, the only thing I don't know about it is when does your opponent have the opportunity to... Uh, you know be able to come out of this move meaning when you when you actually activate this move he hits you like a, he does like a motion of a two hit motion seen on the trailer so he goes one two and then he starts hitting you multiple times i want to know when can your opponent respond to it like after the second hit can they still respond and break out of this or once you start hitting him multiple times can your opponent actually not be able to strike out of it so that's play testing would have to find out and then we have Rising Strike. Uh, it is his Disruptor. Um, this move, we in the trailer, it seems like he's standing still. So I do not know if this move is like Mezagog, where you have to actually get hit for your this move to actually start uh, working, or this move, what does he actually have a motion? Because this move is just like Zane's Silver Eye Slash, and um, I want to know if you're if he's moving forward. Or he's standing. This move, the trailer did not really give a good example on if he is standing still or moving forward doing this attack. So, with that being said, I'm not too sure about this. Four cost, I like it also. It's really good cost for it. So, if he's able to move, that's going to be really good because it is a four cost. And, and that's pretty decent in my opinion. So, other than that, guys, this is TJ. My thoughts on his movesets as of right now with us just seeing the trailer. I have yet to get to play as this character, so I do not know too much more. But until then, once a ranger, always a ranger. Let me know what you guys think about TJ Johnson. And uh, and I, I want to see what his assist is. Unfortunately, his assist is not there yet, so we don't know what it does. But hopefully soon, we'll get to know exactly what it does. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.